Like many Renaissance artists, Dürer occasionally referred to the art of the classical past in his work. The pose of the figure in The Standard Bearer recalls that of one of the most famous of all ancient sculptures, the Apollo Belvedere, a work that was rediscovered towards the end of the 15th century, less than 20 years before Dürer made his engraving. The print pays homage to the past, but in all other respects, it's a thoroughly modern image. The figure stands on a raised piece of ground, in front of a distant view of cliffs and open sea. By his side, we can see the broken stump of a tree, on top of which a tablet bearing Dürer's monogram has been propped. The young man's costume, with its tight-fitting hose, the tunic with its fashionably slashed sleeves, and the long, elegantly curling feathers that he wears with something of a swagger on one shoulder, are appropriate for his time. While his pose may derive from a static marble statue, the standard bearer seems to be poised to spring into action. His head leans to one side, and one hand reaches behind a hip to grasp the hilt of his sword. He's clearly ready to draw it should the need arise. In his other hand, he carries a banner on which is emblazoned the diagonal cross of St. Andrew. This emblem was associated with the Order of the Golden Fleece, an organisation established originally by the Dukes of Burgundy. It was adopted by Dürer's patron, the Emperor Maximilian I, when Burgundy was absorbed into the Holy Roman Empire, which is why the engraving is sometimes known as the Burgundian Standard Bearer.